already four medals in the bag. And uh, there's Claudia Fragapani right at the front. All the gymnasts marching. Mobiles. It's a draw for working order. It's not best gymnast or the one, it's not seeded so that the gymnast likely to win his last or anything like that. It's just a draw the way it comes out. So the gymnasts have finished their warm up out in the warm up gym. They come straight in up onto the podium. So they're going to be introduced to the judges and the audience. From Great Britain, Claudia Fragapani. And from Great Britain, Claudia Fragapani. First World Championship floor final. From Romania, Larissa Yordak. Larissa Yordak, medalist in the all around. From USA, Simone Biles. Simone Biles, the defending world floor champion, Italy top qualifier. From Italy, Vanessa Ferrari. Vanessa Ferrari from Italy, she's been hugely impressive this championship. From USA, Michaela Skinner. Michaela Skinner, USA, another gymnast with a very big difficulty Italy. level. From Australia, Larissa Miller. And Larissa Miller from Australia. Italy. Italy. From Italy, Erica Fasana. Erica Fasana, second Italian in the final. Their floor work has been impressive. From Russia Federation, Alia Mustafina. And the final gymnast of the competition, Alia Mustafina, who we've just seen win a bronze medal on the beam. And uh, Beth Tweddle is joining us here in the commentary box. So, uh, what? Who's your money on, Beth? I think. We can safely say it's probably Simone Biles, and obviously she's uh, going for that historic moment within um, USA Gymnastics as well. Absolutely. So Simone Biles is the favourite. Everybody's chasing her, and uh, great to see a British gymnast chasing her as well. Claudia's already competed in the vault final. This is her second final of the championships, as well as the all-around competition. So there we have a look at Claudia Fragapani, 10th in the all-around competition. So onto the floor from Great Britain, Claudia Fragapani. And this is a great way for her to finish her championship. Such a unique floor routine, powerful tumbling and unique dance work. Straight away goes for this big, powerful opening tumble. Back in full straight. So many gymnasts have been struggling with this back bounce off the landing. She's now just got to keep the concentration and show everyone that she can get to the end of this routine. Goes back down the diagonal with the double straight. And there she shows it. She can really tumble. Now it's her time to show off her artistry. The change leg ring into the Torchette one and a half, the two jumps that they have to link together throughout the floor routine to get a special requirement. And this is the unique bit of floor routine that everyone seems to love watching. The routine's been choreographed by her own personal coach, Helen May, and done it so well. Third, big tumble, double Arabian, just a slight hop forward. double and now she's got to concentrate for this last tumble getting the power going and finishes on the double pike with a small step oh. and a big smile to finish what a disappointment for claudia she absolutely powered down that first runway she wasn't going to land short 
and she gave it so much she just couldn't control the landing she's a gymnast with a really big heart and she really went for this look at the height it's such a difficult tumble double straight with full twist and she just rebounded straight to the floor she almost could have done another somersault afterwards but lovely height on the leaps she's worked so hard on all the other parts because the tumbling for her is the relatively straightforward bit she's worked so hard on the dance and the leaps but showing just a little bit her inexperience here her determination to do really well just slightly overcooked it but hey she carried on gave a great performance after that you will only learn from that claudia it's also very difficult to come straight out into the arena um, with no warm-up onto this very bouncy floor first world's final and i'm sure she didn't expect to be bounding out of the floor after the first tumble but she really held herself together well for the rest of the routine but of course it will be one whole mark off whatever execution score they were going to give her yeah such a shame such a powerful performer on the floor a big prospect for the future no doubt judges uh, will have to take one whole mark nothing they can do about that and the score comes in claudia fragapani scores 13.1 on the floor so from romania larissa yordaki onto the floor now this is one of the gymnasts in this final with the huge difficulty This is very important. This first opening tumble, double twisting, double back, cleanly inside the floor area. She's so crisp out of the corner. Full twisting, double back, holds that landing excellently. That was very important, just about squeezed the pirouette round. so well it's full of energy this is the new rule you have to step out of the corner straight into the tumble beautiful triple twist fabulous height on the leaps first tumble the double twisting double back just a slight step forward um, but a great way to set her off and then straight back down the diagonal with the full twisting and she was just on the edge of that line so she held it in she absolutely uses the whole of the floor area, and then that's she? where she's up the difficulty she's changed it from just a double pike somersault and put the full twist in it so uh, really gone for broke in this final and you can see how pleased she is. She is indeed. And I think the whole arena for a very popular gymnast. We've seen her on the beam make a mistake. And that's been over the years, gym, people who've watched her have seen her falter at the odd moment. So fabulous to see this. And that is a challenge to buy. It's a proper challenge. 
you're always the nerve wracking part. You've done your routine and there's nothing else you can do. You've just got to wait for those judges to analyse it. Well, the score comes in, 14.8 for Alyssa Yordaki of Romania. Goes into first place. They've left themselves a little bit of room. So, from the USA, Simone Biles. Watch this Laura team. Great way to start, just straight into that first tumble with the double twisting double tuck. And still with that big hot back, she has plenty of space. The big smile to go with it. Double straight hop, just the smallest little hop forward. And now you'll see her start to enjoy it. The difficult double low spin. Combination jumps that you need. Constantly keeping everyone watching her. Getting a little breather before this third tumble. Very powerful. Double straight to the side. motion and all the time but you see when she finishes here this is the first trouble double twisting double back her chest is upright as if she's just done a straight jump so the judges can't deduct if the chest is down they can take off up to 0.5 and again every single tumble she lands with the chest right up no landing penalties at all and of course because the chest is right up beautiful shape in the air as well because the chest is right up she can land easily it's only when you're just squeezing that last somersault in that you're in trouble this this the third tumble you see she can bring the arms forward steady the landing it's a cleverly constructed routine and this the final tumble it really looks like she could double double at the end if she wanted to I think this is what sets her apart from the rest of the competition. She's streets ahead in terms of difficulty. The double layout with a half turn, double layout, double, double, full in. The highest difficulty work there. She's probably not got such very difficult uh, jumps and leaps and spins. But we do know if she wins this floor gold, she will have won more career world gold medals than any other American. Well, she's certainly on her way. 15.333, Biles takes the lead. Next onto the floor from Italy, Vanessa Ferrari. And Ferrari has posted some of the best scores on floor this competition. Another huge tumbler. Count the somersaults and the twists. Two somersaults, two twists, and you couldn't have had a centimetre more used of the floor. Another very big tumble coming up here, double straight, and a big step forward. Third tumble, full twisting, double back, that was clean. tumbles at the beginning. There's the two leaps.
difficult leap. Four very difficult leaps, four very difficult tumbles. Here comes the four. The gymnast has to count the final tumble in their difficulty. Here it is, double pike back, almost spun on the spot. Very big challenge. I don't think it will challenge Biles, but it will certainly challenge for the medals. That was a great routine. Just a couple of little errors on the landings, but overall, um, it's a great way to finish her championship. You can see she's quite puffed out. The big tumbles that she's having to pack in to get that difficulty. And she's such a powerful tumbler with the double twisting, double back. And like Christine said, right on the edge of that floor, could not have taken a step back otherwise would have got a deduction. And there's the change leg ring, fully in splits and let head right back. Every tumble is a high class tumble and there's the full twisting double tuck and that's the landing that she wanted on every tumble. And then this is the last tumble with the double pike literally spinning on the spot and you can just see the chest is slightly down that's the difference between ferrari and most of the other gymnasts and biles biles is always upright yeah it's that extra little bit of power isn't it she does make it look easy whereas ferrari looked like she was puffed at the end but it's phenomenal tumbling the tumbling on the women's side has increased really dramatically with these new floor areas and of course ferrari world champion in 2006 Score comes in, 14.666 for Ferrari. Pushes her into third. Good shout, Christine. But there's the standing so far. Way in front, Biles from the USA. Yodaki from Romania, Silver. And Ferrari just nudges into third. Halfway through this floor competition. Four gymnasts still to go. Next up from the USA. Kayla Skinner. And this is her second apparatus final. She was in vault yesterday where she picked up the third position. And this first tumble, one of the only gymnasts in the world to do it. The double twisting, double straight. The Americans are renowned for their powerful tumbling. And these two in this final look, showing what they're made of. Straight back down the diagonal with the double twisting, double top. Not much room for the judges to take those deductions. A slightly different take on artistry compared to Biles. Their personal coaches will have chosen what's good for them and just a simple spin to get the requirement in. Going into the two jumps that need to be shown to the judges. The gymnasts are not allowed to wait in the corners anymore or stand on two feet. And then back, full twisting double tuck. Just last leap that's building up a difficulty, hopefully to contend a teammate. She take this last tumble. The one and a half. Straight connected into the two and a half. By connecting those two tumbles, she picks up the difficulty. Really complex final tumble to do a difficult one and a half into two and a half right at the end there. Fabulous tumbling, fabulous tumbling for me. Not quite the same ability or execution of the leaps. I'm sure we'll see a little bit of the slow motion, but that was a very strong performance. And I think that's the cleanest I've seen a performance here in China. Yes, I think they, they work into the apparatus because the apparatus is a little bit different for them from the USA. And USA is such a big country and they don't compete tremendously much abroad. So here we have this first really special double twisting, double straight somersault. So clean, so classy. So you're allowed to, you are allowed to count five acrobatic moves. So we've seen two huge tumbles, double twisting, double straight, double twisting, double tuck. Both given a very, there's the double twisting, double tuck. 
full twisting double tuck so then she puts two more big tumbles in a one and a half here we are and a two and a half so then she only has to count three of the leaps and although they're not done so well as some of the gymnasts they're not done at all too badly either posted a higher score of 14-7 in the earlier rounds second only to Biles on difficulty so I should score well it's going to it's going to be very tight yes and 14.7 for Skinner into third But the current leader there still Biles. We're ahead 15.333. Your it comfortably in the silver. First look, one of the Australian gymnasts. On floor from Australia, Larissa Miller. The Australian team here have competed well, but not had huge difficulty. Now one tumble off two feet, she's used that. Full twist in front into immediate double twist. the difficulty to challenge the Australians this is their only finalist and like you said they've had clean execution but their difficulty just hasn't been enough to get them into those apparatus finals and that was a very well performed routine there's the double Arabian into the stag jump and that's what gets them the bonus and it also covers up those landings to show the judges and here's the another angle of the double Arabian into that jump and you can see very stylish the way she does everything and then a different angle <laughs> of the double Arabian keeps her knees very close together it gives her a good spin and then opens out spots that landing and then the two and a half twist into the straight front and yet again just uses a little jump at the end of it to cover up those landings very cleverly put together by her coaches and the double pike where she had quite a lot of trouble in the team final but she sorted it out for this apparatus finals she did indeed and i think what the judges like about this routine is she jumps and dances straight out of it it's not it, it sort of is a whole routine as opposed to a series of tumbles with a little bit of dance in between and I think that's what they're trying to encourage, really, for routines to have a bit more harmony between the tumbling and uh, and the dance. But of course, actually, <laughs> the big difficulty will always win out. And the score comes in 14.233 for Larissa Miller of Australia. Puts her into fifth place so far. Next, on to the floor from Italy, 18 years of age, Erika Fasana. Second Italian 
up in this floor final and just as powerful as Ferrari. And you'll see that by these tumbles. Has a big opener with the round off like double twisting double back. Goes straight back down that diagonal. Puts a bit of dance in between. The double straight. Exactly the same two openers as Ferrari. Change leg ring into a change leg ring ball. But they're the two jumps that the judges look for. Without them, there's a big deduction. Very cleanly done leaps. Keeping the judges watching the whole time. tumbling but I think at the beginning as you said Beth where she went first tumble just a little bit of dance second tumble that's something the judges are not so keen on something that gets a little bit of deduction for over for not splitting the tumbles up quite enough and that's probably a deduction Ferrari had as well but she's hugely powerful for Sana double twisting double back interesting this championships we've had some very good tumbling from the women they're really getting to grips with the new very springy floor they can, need to punching hard but once you punch it it really lifts you up the other thing is you need to land when on it just like she showed bend the knees if you don't bend the knees at the right time it rebounds you straight back up again this the final tumble the double pike feet into the floor bend the knees absorb the power up very efficient well, the best been 14 2 3 3 so far and not just good enough today 13.9 for Fasana puts her in sixth place so far You can see the current leader, Simone Biles. <laughs> Gives us a wave. Final competitor to go on the floor from Russia, Alia Mustafina. Well, bronze medalist on floor at the Olympic Games. Mustafina of Russia needs something very special here. Two whips into the double Arabia. Excellent work. Up to a level of difficulty. It's an important spin. Beautiful triple spin. work. 
work from Mustafina to bring this championship to a close. She increased her difficulty. She's always elegant, but will it be quite enough? We will have to see. You can see the relief on her face. She's, we saw her warming up that upgraded tumble, the very first one with the two whip somersaults before the double Arabian. And it was a case she had nothing to lose. She wanted to go for broke to try and increase that difficulty and get onto the medal podium. And here we can see it. The first whip somersault into the second one, into the flick, and then high into that double Arabian somersault. It actually made it better, Beth, I think, didn't <laughs> After it? After the all-around final, uh, definitely. And then she's got such beautiful leaps. There's nothing that the judges can take from that. And then here, another tumble. Doesn't necessarily have the biggest difficulty on the tumbles, but she does have all the leaps and jumps, which some of the other gymnasts don't have. And here's that last tumble again, the double tuck somersault, chest right up at the end, and the step back to finish. She is wearing socks, which is what's helped her do all those spins. And you can just see the elegance that must have been has throughout that routine. And just the general elegance as a gymnast that she portrays. She very much portrays the classical gymnast, which is, of course, very much what the judges want to see, the beautiful classical gymnastics. But this code of points, this judging system rewards the really difficult routines. She's, she's one of the only gymnasts that actually has only three to four. She prefers to use the artistry and the jumps and leaps to build it. And the score comes in, it's a surprise, 14.7, 33. Elia must have been it. Takes the bronze. Oh, what an absolute thrill for her. Disappointment for Skinner. But Mustafina went for broke. She increased her difficulty and uh, she answered the challenge. Simone Biles first. Her fifth medal of this championship. Her fifth medal of this championship, and she's gone ahead of Shannon Miller by now having six world gold medals to her name, and she's only in her second year of the season. So. Absolutely fantastic. So, uh, really, everything to smile about in the camp from USA. Here must have been uh, an absolutely delighted third place. Well, what a poor final that was, Christine, and a superb performance there for must have been a really under pressure needed for the 14.7 in the last two uh, five, uh, qualifications of high school was 14.5 so well worth adding those extra two tens on the difficult ten. absolutely and you know here we go let's see it in writing first Simone Biles second Larissa Yordaki Third from Russia, Alia Mustafina. Fourth, Mikhaila Skinner. Fifth, Vanessa Ferrari. Sixth, Larissa Milley, Australia. Ahead of Erika Fasana, Italy. And Claudia Fragapani, the one gymnast to make a mistake in eighth place. But hey, she was in some sensational final. And I'm sure she'll come. You can hear the music. So it looks like things are going to get underway. That's good. last time in this 2014 Third World Championship. bronze medal representing Russian Federation Alia Mastafina. And bronze medal on the floor exercise to everyone and her great delight Alia Mastafina from Russia. Second place and winner of the silver medal representing Romania Larissa Yordan. Larissa Yordaki from Romania silver medalist. Silver medalist all around and silver medalist on the floor. First place at 2014 Women's Floor World Champion representing United States of America, Simone Biles. But the undoubted champion, Simone Biles, P. 
picks up another gold medal. She's had the gold medal all around, the gold medal with the team, the gold medal on the beam and the floor. Phenomenal performance, you really would have to say, has dominated this World Championships. The gold medal is presented by President of Chinese Gymnastics Association, Mr. Guo Taoyi. The silver medal is presented by Vice President of Women's Technical Committee of the International Gymnastics Federation, Naomi Melenzo. The bronze medal is presented by member of CPC Nani, Mr. Yang Wei Chong. The President of the Chinese Gymnastics Federation presents Simone Biles with her fourth gold medal in this championships. One silver on the vault. She's been a champion with great style. here and defended her title she won in 2013 as a 16 year old in her first world championships this year as a 17 year old she's come and defended her title i always think something much more difficult Ladies to do than winning in the first place for the national anthem of the united states of america Ladies and gentlemen, please congratulate the medalists on Women's Floor Final. And I think congratulations to all the women gymnasts who've been here and competed in Nanning, China. It's been a fantastic championship. The star of the show is undoubtedly Simone Biles, but there's been absolutely superb competition at all, sta all stages of the event and certainly from the women's side it's uh, really shown the world what fabulous gymnastics there is about first stage of qualifying for rio and i think this next couple of years are going to be very exciting i totally agree with you there christine next year 